Hi, my name is Nerv, and I will be doing a review on the MMA 1901, which is Outland Equipment. Uh, there is another person on YouTube named Gideon's Tactical. He does a review on the 1501, but the only difference is that one's 15 inches long, and this one is 19 inches long. So, okay, we're going to open it. This, by the way, is a Spyderco native. Which apparently needs to be sharpened. <laughs> Let's take that out. Don't need that anyway. Don't need this. Okay. Oh, fancy. This comes with a carrying case, which I did not see in the previous video. Uh, by Gideon's Tactical. So let's check this out. Very nice. Now, like I said before, this is the larger version. There's two versions. There's the 15 and the 19 inch, this is the 19 inch. It comes with a, uh, well, it comes with two options. You can get the full uh, sheath or just the blade guard. I chose just the blade guard because the full sheath covers up the wrench here. Let's cut myself. See, it pivots off there. That's nice. So even if you just put it on loosely without snapping the uh, the snap there, it won't just fall off. And so this is uh, S7 steel and G10 handles with, I believe, a Cerakote. Not 100% on the coating, but I think it's a Cerakote. Uh, down here, you have the pry bar, uh, wrench, and seat belt cutter, or any sort of strap, or even cordage. You have the lanyard holes. You have up further on the blade, you've got the part where it snaps onto the blade guard. You have the wrench, and you have the hammerhead. And this also, this is something I really like about the hammerhead. It kind of goes down here, which you can also use for easier prying on stuff, that sort of thing. And then you have the deep choil for your hand if you're doing close-up work. And down here you have another hold just uh, to do lighter chopping. And then if you go all the way to the bottom, you have a much firmer grasp, so if you're doing heavy chopping, and uh, yeah, you've got a slight beard here. The beard is not sharp, at least I don't think it is. Nope, that's definitely not sharp. And now we're going to do some initial sharpness tests, so I'll be right back. We're doing the initial sharpness test on a very ripe tomato because those are notoriously hard to cut if you don't have a sharp knife or whatever you're 
happening to use. I know, obviously, you would not cut a tomato with an axe, because that would just be a little overkill, but that's what I'm using it for this time. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Oh, that is one sharp axe. Very sharp. Uh, the steel is S7. The cutting edge is 3.9 inches. Oh, yeah, it's very sharp. Um, it's all one piece construction except for the hammer piece on the back, which is detachable. It's, a uh, it's modular. You can take it off. And right now that's all they make for it is just the hammerhead tool, but they will be expanding that I'm sure to spikes and other tools that you can put on there. And this was... For this uh, model, and this version of the model, it was 455, the 1501 is 425, and with the, <clears throat> with the blade guard, it's, this one is 455. If I had got the full sheath, it would have been 475. Okay, and uh, I guess that's going to conclude the box opening on the MMA 1901 by Outland Equipment. Special thanks to Chris Aston. I'm hoping I'm getting your name right or your last name pronouncing it right. And uh, thank you. And remember, knowledge is the best tool, but it's always good to have a backup.